So now in this video, we're going to come to the circuit that we did in the last video. I'll try to remember to link it. So we have channel one right here, the probe, and that's going to be the yellow line. We're measuring the voltage of the trim pot. I have a little metal jumper, and these probes have hooks at the end. Uh, you just pull a little thing and it slides back. The hood hook is exposed. You release it and it locks into place. We got channel two over here. So this is a Zener diode. We have a 10,000 ohm resistor coming to the Zener diode. It's reverse bias, uh, black band cathode more positive, and uh, the anode side more uh, negative, backwards from how you want a normal diode to conduct. The, they're made specially to do that. So that's going to be channel two. That's our reference voltage. So we're going to look at that right now. Right now, the power supply voltage is high enough. This is going to go uh, dim from time to time because I have it. Uh, it's running on battery, so that's an energy uh, saving thing. We just have to hit a button to get it back up. So there you can see the uh, yellow line. So we're not going to touch the trim pot right now. I'm going to lower the power supply voltage a, a very small amount. These are tenths of a volt each time it steps down. What you're going to see uh, once we lower the supply voltage enough, and that's a fraction of the voltage of the supply voltage that uh, we're getting. But there you can see it jumped down rapidly. That's because we have a positive feedback resistor. The output went low and uh, the resistor is connected to the output. It goes to the non-inverting input. And since uh, the output went low and we got a resistor uh, coming to the non-inverting input, it pulls the voltage down a little bit. It's a 47,000 ohm resistor, somewhat high. So in any case, I'm gonna raise the power supply voltage enough. And you'll see when it uh, gets above the green line, the inverting input uh, voltage, then the output goes high, it pulls the uh, signal voltage up a little bit right there. And we can look at the power supply. And so I set it, that's what the trim pot is to do, to uh, set it, uh, so I bumped the power supply and it went uh, down. But when I got to uh, at least 9.9 .9 volts, it would have turned off anyways. Let's go back up. So let's solve that uh, power bump problem. So now it's high enough where even if we bump it, the output is uh, going to go back. You can see we got those bumps. So uh, 470 microfarad capacitor, that's what I grabbed. And we may see a spark. Uh, I think it was charged. But in case, there we go. So if we already had that in the circuit, it should stabilize the supply voltage enough where even if I bump, the uh, power supply you can see we did get some dips but it uh, doesn't look like we went down enough and I was being kind of aggressive there so so uh, hopefully it won't falsely trigger again so now let's do this so a lot of times you'll see uh, capacitors in physical circuits or you should know to uh, add them even though you don't see them in the schematic so we got 9.9 .9, it dipped down and then we go back up you have to go back up to uh, about 10.8 right there and you can see that it bumped up so it jumped up again because of that feedback resistor so now let's change this so that uh, we want to have the power supply I'm gonna drop it down to a 9 volt so you can see it's down so it's gonna be off and we're gonna go over there so we can change that tenths of a volt again we can go up to a 12 volts with uh, this and uh, the weak thing though is the resistor protecting the LED. We could use a higher value resistor protecting the LED and go even higher in voltage if we want. So in any case, the, uh, we got the voltage where we want to turn it off. So to begin with, we have to uh, turn the LED on. So I turn the uh, signal voltage up. It's a fraction of the supply voltage. Now I just have to turn it down until it gets to uh, 5.1 volts because that's what the Zener diode voltage is rated for. And you can see the LED just went off, and uh, that is what we want to stop turning the trim pot at, right when the LED turns off. That's how we adjust it. Very easy. So probably somewhere about 9.8 volts approximately. There we go. The output uh, went high, and it jumped back up, and now we will uh, lower it. So the LED is on now, and uh, we get back down to 9. Now it just turned off right there. It's that easy to adjust. Hopefully you were able to see, I should have gone back a little bit more, but hopefully you're able to see the voltage changes there. So in any case, that's it to the circuit. It's a pretty cool circuit in my opinion. Display went dim because we are on power mode. Uh, energy saving, it will turn off after five minutes. 
but uh, we might as well turn it off right now so that uh, we save uh, even more battery. So you can change the settings when it turns off and if it dims or not or how long it takes before it dims up to about two minutes. So in any case, hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I posted to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.